everyone, welcome to a special edition of Behind the Nail Pros. We're here with our Nail Pro Cup for 2009 champion, Lynn Lammers. Welcome. Thank you. She not only won the Nail Pro Cup, but she also did the cover for our January issue. We wanted to really showcase for the first time on a Nail Pro cover competition style nails, and who better to do that than Lynn? Thank you. Let's start talking about the pink and white hand. How did you begin? In Nail Pro competitions, we are required to include moons at the base of the nail for a sculpture nail competition. So that's where I started with the moon and then applied the form and moved on to the extension. You use a different color for the moon than the rest of the nail. Yes, there's a special moon colored powder that we use to sculpt the moons with. Huh. Slightly lighter than the white. It almost looks like a blend between pink and white acrylic. Uh, once I applied the form, I sculpted the extension, which is the white part, focusing on the smile line to make sure that it was nice and crisp and uh, perfectly shaped the way I wanted it. And then, only when it was perfect, did I apply the pink to the entire nail bed. Do you have any tips for applying the white extension to keep it really thin and to keep the smile line crisp? Because this is not the regular salon style extension. The biggest help would be to learn proper product ratio and product control so that you have time for, uh, to work the product. So you don't want it too wet because then it'll start sliding all over the place. Right, you'll chase it off the form. Mm -hmm. The other thing about competition nails is that not only are they super thin, but they also have a very extreme C-curve. How do you create that? Nail Pro requires that the C-curve be 50% of a circle. So we use a special tool called C-curve stick that is a tube, a perfectly round tube, to mold that extension edge and get that 50% of a circle C-curve. At what point do you start molding the C-curve? As soon as the nail is set enough to remove the form, then I start to mold the C-curve. I noticed you were holding the C-curve a little bit longer than I've seen, you know, in regular salon nails. It normally takes three to five minutes for acrylic to set. A result of the chemical reaction is that as it's curing, the acrylic starts to flatten out. So you have to hold it through that curing process to keep it from expanding back out and getting flat again. Let's move on to the polished hand. Do you start the same way? No. The polished hand doesn't require any moons or smile lines. The only requirement is that when you turn the hand over, it they look the same. They both have to be white on the underside. So uh, I just go straight into applying the form and sculpting the extension edge without regard to the smile line. I just try to make sure that the, that the nail is the same thickness as the pink and white hand. Do you even create a smile line? Not really. It's just, a it's just flat? Just kind of smoosh it on there. I just put the pink over the top of that and wait for it to set, mold it, and then file it. So let's talk about the filing and the finishing. Um, are there techniques to getting a good shape for the nail? The technique that I teach is to be consistent in your filing. To start filing the, the far extension edge, the distal edge first uh, across all ten nails. And then you file the right side wall across all ten nails, and then the left side wall across all ten nails, cuticle area across all ten nails. That way you get a uniform shaped nail. After I'm done filing, then I change grits and go through the, all the same steps again on all ten nails. To bring it up to a high shine, you have to go through uh, different grits of your files. If your first file is 180 grit, then you need to move up to a 220 grit or a 400 grit or a 600 grit. Ultimately, you want to get to a 3000 grit. Is there any difference between filing the two hands? Yes. When you finish the pink and white hand, you're going to bring it up to a high shine. After you buffed all ten nails, what's the next step? The next step is to clean the nails of all the dust and debris. And then I will polish the red hand, and then once the red hand is polished, I will high shine the pink and white hand. Do you have any polishing techniques for when you're doing the red polish on competition nails, something that's different than maybe salon polish? Not really. I polish the same in the salon as I do in competition. Uh, the trick, I think, is to have enough polish on the brush to paint the nail in one, one dip right. you know, in, the in the bottle. 
How many coats do you do on each nail? Two. Thank you so much for coming out and doing this and to do the first competition nails for our cover. I think it's so important that we showcase this and your work is beautiful. Um, I'm, I think that all of the readers out there are going to be really impressed when they see this and hopefully feel the drive to step into the competition arena and try their hand at any nail pro competition. Well, thank you. I'm happy to be here and I'm happy that you're happy. <laughs> and congratulations once again on your win. That is very exciting. Thank you.